morning. If you can't hear that, uh, I don't know what's wrong with your ears, but that's the sound of rain on DCF. So, started raining right about six o'clock. So we decided we're going to get going a little early, um, tear down, skip breakfast, do the 1.4 up the trail and the 0.4 then to the side trail to Woods Hole Shelter, um, and then eat breakfast there and then head up over blood and get to kneel and then figure out what we're gonna do. So that's what we're doing. I'll tear down here, I think it's probably 6.30 now. I've been having, doing a couple things before I've finalized getting out of the quilts. It's nice and toasty in here. So um, it was weird last night. It was windy off and on. And at one point, man, it got super hot. I had to take like all my sleep clothes off pull one of the quilts back I was like man and then it got cool again <laughs> so I kept waking up like rearranging my uh, sleeping arrangements so but pretty good sleep uh, ready to get headed north again so I'll keep you guys up to date all right well we got going at 710 and it is raining so we are we decided not to stop at Woods Hole we're gonna push up the blood and do breakfast there um, and it's been mostly dry and then we started up the ridge, the wind started whipping up and the next thing you know, it's driving rain. So not terrible rain, but enough that we needed to put rain gear on. So we're going to keep heading towards blood and I'll keep you guys up to date. All right, me boyos, we're hiking up the treacherous blood mountain. Just left Slaughter Creek, bear cameled up. We're heading up, we're going to stop in the shelter up there, do breakfast and then roll down to Neil. So keep you guys up to date. All right, we made it up to Blood Mountain Summit. We are in the shelter right now, just finished eating breakfast. And as you can see, we're living in a cloud. So we're gonna get squared away up here, head down to Neil, get warmed up, get dried out. And I'll keep you guys up to date on what's going on. I don't know if you can hear the road wine here on the camera, but we are just about to pop out at Neil Gap. So we've had a good rainy hike down blood, making really good time. It's funny, we've everybody that left ahead of us said, hey, you'll probably catch us. We haven't seen a soul except one person coming up the other way. So everybody else must have got their tails and gear and, and just rocked it all the way down. So we're getting ready to head into the, uh, the store, check out some resupply, and then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do from there. So I'll keep you guys up to date. Well, it took too long to make up my mind and the hostel is now full. So it looks like I'm hiking on, Bear is staying here. Um, so I'm gonna push on, probably a low gap. I think I'm gonna try and do another 12. So I may end up getting into Franklin early, I don't know, but we'll see. So probably gonna head out here for in just a minute, tell everybody that I'm heading out since there's no room and I will keep you guys up to date on where I end up. Well, this is the view today. I'm on my way to Testna T. I'm at the top of somewhere, I don't remember. But it's been good hiking, making good time. Uh, the weather's not terrible. It's pretty blustery, but I mean, it is what it is. So we keep rocking on to Testnity, then I think the next goal is low gap. And then from there, we will see what happens. But I'll keep you guys up to date. All right, made it to Hogpen Gap after the trail magic at Testnity. Still headed towards low gap and then we'll reassess from there whether I'm going to try to push to blue or hold up there. Got a couple people all headed that way, but I'm not sure how many people are ahead of us. So we don't know how full the shelter may be, but I'll keep you guys up to date. Anyways, we got to go back down to hog pen first. <laughs> <laughs> really get the pure exhaustion from that. Yeah. I'm telling you, you always hike back for the trail magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made that mistake once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we're at low gap. I think I already told you that. Everything's set up. We actually got a fire going with wet wood. So we're going to enjoy that for a while. Um, I've been looking at gut hook. I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, I might push 20 plus. I don't know. I don't want to get to Franklin too early, but I don't guess it'd be a bad thing either. But I kind of kind of maybe might pull back to see if I can run into Darwin. I don't know. He uh, let me know where he was going to be tomorrow. So I may just hit him up and see what's going on and see where he thinks he's going to be to see if I can pull back and catch him or wait for him or meet up with him. But I think the timing is just going to be off. So whatever. It'd be cool to meet up, but it just may not work out this trip. But I'm going to uh, finish eating and continue hanging out with a bunch of people that I met today. Um, had a good time heading over here. Like I said, got that trail magic. And we've just been making good time, good miles today. So it was a good day for hiking. So tomorrow's supposed to not be rainy, but it's supposed to be cloudy all day. So I may try and make some good miles tomorrow. I don't know. We'll just, we'll play it by ear. But I'll keep you guys up to date. Come up down a little bit and we'll walk past and I'll okay. grab it. Can't get it exactly how I wanted it to, but I can't get it set up high enough behind it. I can send it back there and hold it. Huh? I said, no, I was keeping calm. He's like running up there behind that tree. Get all the people behind you. He's not that far enough to get you. We're going all the way back down now. Yeah. You really got to get the authentic out of that shot. Yeah. <laughs> 